Okay, okay, listen up. I want to remind you all that the test tomorrow is the final for the term. It counts for a half of your grade. Based on most of your assignments, this isn't going to be a pleasant experience. So, I want to make something very clear. If any of you fail this test, there won't be any rewrites. You've had plenty of time to study, and I will not make things any easier for you. This is it. You either put in the hard work, or you fail. I'm expecting big things from you, Winston. I really like your painting, Sam. It really captures the chaos of the ocean, but it also makes it feel strangely familiar. You looking for Stacy? Yeah, her and Sean said they were coming. Don't let it bother you too much. I'm sure they're just busy studying. We have a big test in math class tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah, that must be it then. Oh, totally. This one's gonna suck big time. Nope. She's just painting her toenails with Aaron and Alana. <laughs> Winston? Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. I just need to get back to studying. Don't worry. Um, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. Okay, Harriet, show us how it's done. We're counting on that rocket hoof of yours this weekend. We can't win this game without you. Now, what did I tell you about aim? All that power is useless unless you can hit the net. Yes, coach. Harriet, you're gonna get that ball or what? Huh? Oh, right away, coach. Oh, great. We're gonna lose for sure. Who? We, we can't win, win this game without, without you. Without you. Without you. Without you. Without you. Well, the good news is that we ran quite a few tests, including blood work and an ECG, and everything came back normal. Has this kind of thing happened before? Yeah, I guess a couple times, but I don't get it. Why did all this happen if the test results say I'm fine? I know it's hard to understand why you are having these kinds of physical symptoms when nothing is wrong with your body, but these episodes are still very real. You're not making them up, and they're not just in your head. These reactions are the result of the communication between your brain and the rest of your body. This is called the mind-body connection. Let me explain the science behind that. The fight, flight, or freeze responses are a great example of the mind-body connection. When we sense that we are in danger, a very powerful physical response is triggered. This can happen anytime we feel really scared, like running into an angry animal or a soccer ball flying towards your face. Believe it or not, the same thing happens even when the stress we experience isn't life-threatening. The nervous system has two main parts, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic systems, which are always acting in balance. The sympathetic nervous system is like a gas pedal in a car. It tells your body to activate. The parasympathetic nervous system, on the other hand, is like the brakes in a car. It tells the body to slow down. The fight, flight, or freeze response is the sympathetic nervous system sounding the alarm. It all starts with your ears, eyes, and nose picking up a danger signal. Your brain makes sense of what's going on around you and decides what to do. Then it sends commands to your body using electrical and chemical signals. These signals tell your body to act now and to stay alert to stay alive. Lungs breathe faster and shallower to take in more oxygen. The heart beats faster and harder pushing the oxygen to your brain and big muscles so you can fight back or run away. Pupils dilate so you can see better. Hands and feet feel numb or tingly because your blood is being sent to other places in your body that are more important for survival. For the same reason, the stomach slows down because it doesn't need to digest food when your life is in danger. So when your brain senses danger, a whole bunch of bodily reactions happen quickly and without you even knowing it. 
Then, when the danger is gone, your parasympathetic system kicks in and tells your body to calm down because even though these physical symptoms are not dangerous, they can be very powerful and problematic if they go on for too long. Often we aren't aware that our normal emotions can trigger physical responses in the same way as life-threatening danger. Daily stress from tests, the sadness of rejection, or feeling overwhelmed with responsibility are all very normal examples of emotions that can trigger a physical response through the mind-body connection. Sometimes the symptoms are caused by stress and emotions on their own. Other times, there is a medical condition as well, and stress and emotions make the symptoms stronger. Often treating these symptoms begins with learning about the mind-body connection. When we come to understand that the symptoms are real and powerful, but not dangerous, we can take steps to make things better. Like anything powerful, these symptoms can be overwhelming. But when we take the time to understand the mind-body connection, even though it can be tough, we can learn a lot about ourselves. What do you think, kiddo? Does this mind-body connection stuff make sense to you? Well, kind of. I've been putting a lot of pressure on myself lately with soccer. I think that might have something to do with it. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel a lot better, though. Just knowing that my mind and body are connected like that. We'll work through it together. You gonna be alright? Yeah, I think I am.